breaking news, Nigerians. This is really very surprising. Pastor T.B. Joshua is dead, buried, and gone. <laughs> and today, BBC uh, investigation unveils late Nigerian pastor T.B. Joshua's atrocities. <laughs> and Nigerians have begun to, you know, react. What exactly is going on with these people? You will see the real things and all that to investigate. You will not come up, you know, to speak out and all that. What is that with T.B. Joshua that the BBC will not allow the man to rest in peace? Honestly, Nigerians are, you know, talking left, right, and center. You will be shocked to hear what they have, you know, investigated and what they are really pouring out right now. Like, as I said, T.B. Joshua is dead and buried, and all these things are now coming up now. As many can now say what is going on. Why? Why are they doing this? Why are they still trying to bring the dead man, you know, down and whatever? The British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, is set to publish a three-part investigative documentary detailing the atrocities and sexual crimes committed by Pastor Temitapa Balego TB, uh, uh, Balego Joshua of famously known as uh, T.B. Joshua, okay, Balogu Joshua, I meant to say. Joshua died on June 5th, 2021. As part of the investigation, the BBC interviewed at least 30 former members and workers of the synagogue church of all nations. The first installment of the documentary is scheduled to be released on January 8th. The three-part documentary reviewed the clandestine lifestyle of the now deceased founder of synagogue. It details stories of abuse, harassment, rape, manipulation, and stage miracles. Sources told the, B the BBC that the church knew about all the allegations but never investigated them. They alleged the sexual crime spanned over two decades. Apart from a part of the a part of the documentary reviewed how synagogue shaded its congregation from the truth about the collapse of one of the church's uh, girls' house guest houses in 2014, a video that was shown multiple times to members on Emmanuel TV showed a short clip of the structure with something that seemed like an aircraft flying over it. On television, they were showing us the building had been bombed. One of the sources who lost her daughter in the collapsed building told the BBC. Synagogue is located at Ikotu, Ibe area of Lagos State. The church grew from a local evangelical into a multi-million dollar church with worshippers from all around the world. The aircraft story felt to the members was all a lie. Emmanuel, one of the young men who served T.B. Joshua, told the BBC, Emmanuel claimed the church had a structural uh, deficit. The foundation of the building was inadequate for the floors built on it, real. A Brit who attended the church and was a disciple collaborated. She added that Joshua insisted that the building be raised despite professional options. They told us, don't tell what you know. Emmanuel, another worker at synagogue, said in the film, they knew something was wrong with the building, but they were managing it. Synagogue later paid the families of the victims cash as compensation, which they interpreted to be hush money. A church worker who was part of those who handed the money to victims' family in South Africa said, Tibu Joshua asked that she instruct the grieving families not to speak to the media. Then Joshua personally threatened families who refused the money Sources told the, B the BBC. They said the building collapse is a good example of everyday life under TB Joshua. 
it is just a series of cover-ups. It is just this was so big, it was almost impossible for him to make it go away, Rio said. The BBC found that people were uh, dismembered under the the rubble, the, rub, the rubble and dead bodies were uh, transferred in synagogue ambulance to shade the reality of the disaster from the press to protect both the image of the church and TB Joshua. Survivors of TB Joshua's sexual exploitation narrated how they were manipulated and silent over when they knew the relationship they had with daddy was abused. These women were part of TB Joshua's discipleship. Multiple women narrated how he molested and uh, <laughs> a few women who resisted his assault at first were threatened into submission. One of the women told the BBC. I beg, I don't read again. Do you know why? I don't like when people come out to say things when the person is no longer there. You understand? I don't like it. When this man was alive, why did they not speak up? Now he don't die. When I begin to talk here and there, and what happens? We don't like. See, I am sorry to say this. He's one of the God's generals. You understand? His good work will speak for him. I don't know what they are talking about. Too, but this man shows how to serve humanity while on earth. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.